hi guys so I'm here again and I I'm here to show you guys some of the a little haul that I did uh, some stuff that I just purchased yesterday in the mall I went there specific looking for um, the La Mer brand uh, foundation because I've been having some troubles with my skin especially that it's summertime I have super duper oily skin it's a nightmare for me I have I don't know what to do anymore like I'm in the point that I'm like basically giving up because I've been breaking out every day I wake up my face is super oily and it's like a surprise on my face and I'm like just I give up like so I went there in the lady at Nordstrom actually was really nice and explaining to me that that wouldn't gonna it wasn't gonna help me so she introduced me to a few items and I think it's really nice because I think I saw one time I saw a video of a girl saying about the the facial spray and I oh I could only find the Mario Badescu Badescu I don't know forgive me I don't know the name how to pronounce the most name at Alta so I actually was able to find a Nordstrom and I was really excited because. When I went there in Alta, they didn't have what I was looking for, and I was like so disappointed because I went there specific for that thing. So, yeah, I have a feeling that I've been breaking out because of the foundation, and I feel like not specific because I broke out someone you're gonna break out, but I feel every every person has a different facial, it's different skin, it's different like vitamins, whatever in your body, everyone's different. So for me, I think the Pro Longwear from, from the MAC store was like a little too heavy for me. Even though I love the foundation, it's been breaking on me ever since. So I end up and I did a little stop at CVS that I need to grab some stuff. And I end up grabbing some stuff that I wanted to try it on. So, oh, and I also get some new brushes that I'm gonna talk to you about. So let's get started. So I'm gonna show you first what I grabbed at Nordstrom. So the lady said that the La Mer brand wasn't gonna help me, like for me to try, I have some samples at home, so I'm gonna try that. I've been using the cleansing gel and it's been awesome. By the way, I've been taking care of my skin more lately. I've been washing every night, I've been exfoliating, not have exfoliating, just very it's some it's just too clean, not my face. So it's okay, it's not it hasn't done anything magical to help me with my breaking out. So she told me to try the Mario uh Badescu. I don't know how to say that name like so this is actually what I looked at all top of a few months ago and I couldn't find it. This is a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And it's also, it's, it says in the back, uh, once you've tried this rejuvenating facial spray, you won't want to be without. Uh, you can use to set your makeup, smooth your face and skin in this hydrating condition or give your skin a quick boost to any time anywhere so i will normally use this after i'm done before my foundation i'll spray all over my face once i'm done with my foundation i will spray this as well and i i always like to keep this to during the day just keep me refresh and this is only it was only seven dollars in nordstrom and this brand is really good but it's affordable too. Second thing that she showed me is this the Marvel Disco drying lotion and it just tell it tells you not to shake and it's it will help you uh, with whiteheads and pimples. All you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna um get a kill tip if you, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a clear liquid and then there's like a white thing right here. You're gonna dip a Q-tip and you're gonna put on your spots and you're gonna go to sleep. And it's really good. I actually just used this last night and I think, I don't know if my, my crazy hat, but I think it's not like I woke up with nothing on my face, but it was 
much better. Let me just, I'm just gonna put the curtains up a little bit because it's getting dark here. I don't like light, so. So yeah, so it's, it definitely, I haven't had any new surprises in the morning, but it's, I felt like it dried a little bit. So I'm gonna try this again. And I, again, like I'm loving this. Like I can't wait, I was so excited. So in this one, it's $17, but let me show you. So drying lotion and the brand is really good. And then she gave me the sample of the special cleanser lotion. Um, lotion C, Skin C and O types. And I think it's a cucumber, um, how do you, a, to a toner. So I applied this all over my face before I did my makeup today and it sounds, it's really good. I think it's a cucumber one and it's supposed to be like a little more heavy duty um, toner. So it was really good and I'm looking to see how it's going to work out. And, hmm. Yeah, I think they all, they, all of them have the kind of same smell. So yeah, I can't wait to see the results of this. And again, this was just a simple, she gave me two to try it on and see how well I'm gonna like that. So next thing I bought, I went, I've been needing some um, primer. So I saw this from Maybelline, the Baby Skin Instant Pore Erase. And it's like, it, it tells you, over here, Instant Pore Erase. And this tells you, that it, it says it's gonna help you like minimize the pores. And me having like oily skin, I feel like my pores are always big, but I just want to try it on and see how it's gonna work. Foundation, everything it says you can use you you can use this under foundation to prep your skin, or just itself. So that's the baby skin. So was I say this was eight dollars? Maybe I'm not pretty sure, but I bought this a CVS. I bought the Instant Age. Rewind erase dark circles. I bought this today. No, yesterday. Uh, I I heard of a lot of um, good things about that. It. It's fa people's most favorite. I do been loving my Pro Longwear for Mac. But like maybe I should just try like a cheaper version. So I like this. So I you everything I'm I'm telling you guys today. I used yesterday the makeup I'm, I used today. So that's what I have on my face right now. And sorry, my husband. And I bought a lipstick. This is what I'm using right now. And this is Raisin Berry 905 from Maybelline. And this is what I have right now. But it's a beautiful color. So it's a purple. I've been loving purples. And I even was talking to one of my friends, and I. Sandrina, she's like uh, makeup by Sandrina, and I was telling her, I'm like, I can't find the purple anywhere. Like, it's so hard. Like in the big cities, in Boston, like you can't find any purple. I feel like everyone been wanting the purple colors right now. I've been looking since maybe since December for a purple color, and this is it was the last watch. I'm like, I, I have to have this. I say it was about eight dollars too, so it's great. I was like, I couldn't wait. And this is something I was super excited to find it at CVS because I been looking for like a couple weeks for this and I haven't been able to find it. And this is the new Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation. And it's I was just a little disappointed because it's like so tiny. Like my I have tiny hands and this is like tiny, like so little. It's. 0.67 ounces, like 20 ml, and it says it's fluid touch foundation, oxy oxidated sunscreen, SPF 20. Mine is 20 classic ivory, and I love it. Like this is how it is, and it's very liquidy. And I was like, hmm, you know, like I was like, I don't know how this is gonna work. I use it today. It's my first time, so I'm gonna see how it's gonna go throughout the day. And I love it. It's been, I love how it applied to my face, and it had like kind of powdery, like a powder finish it, finish to it. And I like that, especially 
I don't know, for the summertime, it gave me enough coverage. When I applied my hand yesterday, I was like, hmm, it doesn't seem it's gonna give me enough coverage, but let, let's try. It gave me a good coverage. Of course, I have concealer uh, on top of my blemishes, but um, I applied, I love it. So, so far, so good. And it gave me like a very natural look. That's what I like in a good coverage. So last, but not least, I have, this is, did not come with, have some new brushes, so clearly I used this one already to apply. So I have some new brushes that I bought. So this is my pink ones. I chose pink ones. I paid, oh, by the way, I think the foundation was $10.99, so that's good. So this is a brushes that I think I paid $15 at eBay and I'm not a huge sucker to pay like $50 for a brush unless I really love it so I'll totally pay for my beauty blender I, without a doubt I love beauty blenders but sometimes like you don't want to pay $500 for a whole collection of brushes so I love this it's been amazing I just feel this one's a little too fluffy for me I have a different one that it's more dent and it will like more it feels like a kabuki brush so not gonna get too much into it so if you don't want to spend too much money this is great just look brushes at ebay it's amazing i love all the brushes the makeup brushes so i'm gonna see if i can do you guys a new tutorial for how i do my foundation routine using my new foundation stuff and concealer lip gloss everything so i hope you guys like the video just like my video help me share the video and just leave me a comment below if you guys want to know anything else any formations if you have any video in mind or anything like that so and by the way this vlog is really cute i just got it at the folk festival below and i loved it because i have like my little messy bun and just put it over there so Yes, thank you for thank you so much for watching and I see you guys next video. Bye-bye.